and, and what I'm going to show here actually is uh, imagine that I'm a, a sales rep. I'm going to, I'm going to put a, a sales rep's hat on, and I've met with a customer, and this ha happens to be Acme Mobile that I've got here. Uh, I met with a certain individual, and if I scroll down, and this is just bog standard Salesforce, so if I scroll down, I can see I've got you know bugs, bunnies, and um, here's some open activities. But the issue with Salesforce, as I said, is kind of um, we've got that disjointed sort of interface. So it's great for storing the data, but now if I wanted to say um, log a call that I had with, with Bugs Bunny, you know, I've got to go down to the activity history, I've got to log a call button, and immediately I flipped into the log a call panel, and I've kind of lost where I was going to. So most people um, go back and sort of, um, uh, you know, if they're going to uh, log a call here, they might open up in a, in a new tab. So they'll end up getting a new tab open. Um, but, you know, that's not a, an optimum solution either. So uh, let me log a call here. Uh, here we just add some contact da data here, sort of. Well, I met with, uh, I'm a road runner. And, you know, I'm, I'm not really a user that uh, remembers, oh, should I do process or... Um, something like that. I'm going to save it. Uh, now I need to talk about the opportunity. Well, now I have to scroll down and look at the opportunity. And now I've opened the opportunity tab. You know, it's 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 very very um, confusing and, and not at all efficient. So instead, what 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 we have with Cloud Extend is, uh, as I said, this process this. Um, concept of guides. So if I go back to the uh, account here, and I'm going to go back to the person I had the meeting with. Let's say I had a meeting with Bugs Bunny. We have this section called Sales Guides, and this gives us a, a, a quick um, call, uh, a, a quick paragraph about what this process is. So Sales Call Follow-Up is after the meeting, I'm going to step through um, a process to follow up with uh, after my meeting. So I've got a quick introductory panel. I'm following through. It now says, oh, did you talk about the Cloud Extend subscription? Yes, I did. Now, this is the opportunity. I didn't flip to the opportunity tab. It then says, OK, let's update the field for the subscription. So I talked to Bugs Bunny, and we're now to needs analysis. And actually, we've said that the opportunity is um, uh, was worth a bit more money. Next step, we're going to present a proposal. I'm going to add that in. I'm just going to say budget was allocated there. Um, what did we uh, learn that was potentially relevant? Um, I know bugs like carrots, not quite relevant, but uh, um, something we learned. And he is, well, let's say he's the... Um, economic decision maker there. And as you see, I'm, I'm following this through in a step-by-step -step process. I've got a history on the right-hand side. I can go back one step. I can go back multiple steps. Um, and I've, all, I've done this without actually leaving the context of who I spoke to. Um, now I'm being prompted to say, hey, did, if you spoke and met with Bugs Bunny, did you meet other people around the table? Uh, in this instance, no, I didn't. Did I, offer, uh, did I identify opportunities? So not only did we talk about um, this opportunity, but w did other things come up in conversation? Um, they didn't, but um, now we go on to the next step, which is a follow-up. So here, action plans, we're going to present the proposal at this, uh, at this meeting. Boop. At the next meeting. And um, I don't want to sign anybody else follow-up test. And that's, that's it. I'm done. Now, if I cl click the Done button, I refresh, um, I refresh the uh, guide. And if I go back to the, the Cloud Extend subscription, you see that the, um, the stage now has been updated. The amount was updated. If I scroll down a bit um, further, 
you'll see that I have my um, a new follow-up task. I have my activity history with meeting notes, and if you look at them, if we look at the meeting notes, we can see here Bugs likes carrots. I go back. Um, we've got the contact roles and, and all of that stuff, and the stage history for this particular uh, opportunity. So now we're back to the um, needs analysis there. So, so Clive, you're really uh, talking about, I mean, Informatica is so well known for uh, the data side of things. Now we're, we're tying that together with some of the process capabilities. One of the questions um, we have coming in is uh, about the customization. How easy is it to guide these questions uh, and, and really to create this for the end users? Now that's um, a, a, a nice <laughs> softball for me. Thanks very much. A good question. It was, it was a real question. It was real. There, there, there's a... We have this uh, guide designer. So that was the sort of end user perspective that you saw. And here's, the, um, here's how I build any process I like. So I have, we, we did the sales call follow-up. So let me just uh, click this um, icon. It was a tree. And here you see I have essentially a, a point and click uh, approach to building the process. So here was the first screen that we saw. I can preview it here that says, um, Sales call follow-up wizards can tell me what to do. Um, here is the, I've got a, a sub-guide here that actually um, does the interaction with me. So this is where we saw the update the fields for the stage and the opportunity is telling me to update the opportunity. Um, the icons that are blue here are essentially the, the screen that you see and the, the TAN icons are essentially just automated uh, actions and uh, updating uh, the Salesforce fields. So, for example, automated steps says record next step. It's a set field that um, basically takes the data from the screen. And, um, and if I wanted to add, say, and get access, as you uh, answered or asked about how do I get access to the, the Salesforce data, Really, really simple. I can add, say, the um, the amount of the opportunity. Again, it's a constant, or do I get it from the field, or can I have a, a formula field? Um, and I'm going to get the amount from the um, I don't know a quote uh, price. There we are. And if I um, preview that, you'll see that. It doesn't show up on the on the screen because I've uh, essentially uh, done that in the in the in the background. There's no programming for that, so that now will update the um, price based on the opportunity price. That's great. So um, there's clearly a lot of power here. Um, I like how you showed it both from the consumption and the uh, and the production side. Um, we're going to do a, a follow up deep dive into this new product. We all we just wanted to give you all an introduction to it. And I think you get a sense of where we, uh, we can take this as you start to combine it with the Informatica Cloud integration and Informatica Cloud MDM uh, capabilities. Uh, I think there's some pretty powerful possibilities there. Um, so, Clive, let me um, bring it back to just uh, some next steps. Uh, unless is there anything else you wanted to show, or are we, uh, are we good to, uh, to move on? Uh, just, just quickly, um, the, the one thing I did want to show is that uh, I showed you in the desktop there. Uh, to get it to work on a mobile phone, I just changed the theme. So now those guides will work now on any smartphone that um, has access to your to your Salesforce environment. So and that's done through um, a browser. So no coding uh, for for mobile at all. I just changed the theme. 